Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently, I was on a trip to the US with my husband to visit some family and we had a six hour long layover in Los Angeles before our flight back to Singapore. So I managed to coerce him to do a little bit of shopping with me. Anyways, fast forward, we had lunch and then decided to take a stroll along Rodeo Drive where I spotted Maison Goyard in the distance with their trunks in their signature Goyard print displayed outside the store. I've seen many good reviews of the Goyard tote bags, especially about its quality, lightweight and it being one of the best bags for travel to take on with you as a cabin bag or as a handbag uh, to bring with you on board the flight. So it has always been on my radar to check it out. There wasn't a line and I only waited for a couple of minutes. It was quite a small store and frankly, there was so much on display with all the different bags in the different colours with the signature Goyard pattern that I felt so overwhelmed. However, I knew exactly what I wanted to try on so I wasn't too distracted. So here in this shopping bag, I have the Artois bag in black Goyardin with black calfskin trimming in the petite model. So let's unbox this now and talk a little bit about the bag. Here we go. Removing the sticker here. Here we go. Alright. Okay, remove the ribbon, I suppose. It's quite tight. So this is store fresh and I have not yet opened this except for this video. Alright, and so here it is in a yellow, signature Goyard yellow, I suppose, um, tissue paper. So I was surprised that I wasn't given the gift box and I suppose I should have asked for it, but it didn't occur to me at that time. So anyways, here we go. Oh, at least it comes with a um, bag. Oh, actually, you can see the Goyard print is here, the dust bag. Alright. Ta-da! Here it is. Alright, so I'll just like open it up here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at this. So it has this trimming here. It's plastic. Here we have it, the Goyard Atwa bag in petite model, black goyardin um, material with black cuff skin trimming, as you can see. Goyard has four different tote bags in similar styles. One is the Saint Louis, two this Artois, three the Anjo, and four the Isabelle. Now, I had done some extensive research on these four tote bags, so let's dive right into this artois and I'll explain to you a little bit more about why I got this bag and the main differences and features of uh, this artois bag versus the other three tote bags. So, number one, this is the only bag with a zip. It's a silver zip here and it closes, zips up completely. Now the Isabel has a central magnetic closure system and that's in the middle part of the bag um, so it's separated into three different compartments. However, since I was looking for a travel bag, I really wanted a zip because I just didn't want to have to worry about you know, things falling out of my bag or of pickpockets when I'm out and about. Number two, this bag does not have the emblematic removable pocket and that's because um, the emblematic pocket will probably get caught in the zip anyway. And two, this artois has a floating pocket. So I'm just going to open it up for you. It's quite big. Here you go. It's quite big. And if you kind of open it up, you will see that the interior of the bag here of the pocket is actually in the same Goyardin material. Right, oh gosh. The care leaflet is still here. So, there we go. So, this 
is basically the floating pocket which is affixed to the bag and doesn't have a floating pocket that the other three bags do have. Number three, this bag is probably a little bit more structured and hardy because of the four reinforced corners here and here which the other three bags don't have. I've heard that you can get the corners reinforced for the St. Louis and probably for the Isabel, um, but obviously this comes with additional time for workmanship and cost. The Anjo is probably also kind of structured and won't slouch so easily because the interior of the Anjo is not this cotton linen mix that you see in my bag here. Um, instead, the Anjo's interior is leather and it's going to be the same colour as um, the colour of the Goyadin print. So if this is, is black Goyadin, the interior will be a plain black leather. However, the Anjo also doesn't have these four reinforced corners. Number four, the strap length of this Artois bag is 20 centimeters, which is the same as the Isabelle, but it is longer than the St. Louis and the Anjo, which is at 18 centimeters. Even with a difference of a mere two centimeters, um, I've heard that it is more comfortable to wear the Artois and the Isabelle as a shoulder bag. I've seen reviews online where people have mentioned that it is very difficult to actually wear the St. Louis and the Anjo bag as a shoulder bag, especially when they're wearing a jacket or a coat. So now I'm going to show you how this Artois bag fits as a shoulder bag. So just putting it on my shoulder and I'm just wearing like a t-shirt. As you can see, there is still room between um, the uh, bag and my underarm. So it's very comfortable as a shoulder bag. So now I put on this relatively thin blazer and I want to see whether or not this Artois bag fits very comfortably on my shoulder. And just putting it on, as you can see, it is very comfortable. There is a lot of wiggle room. Um, and I don't know whether you can see, but there is ample space between my underarm and the bag. And I think that if this was the same Louise or the Angel, which has a strap length of about two centimeters shorter, I think you can still probably try and put it on, but there will be less wriggle room. And certainly, I think if you're wearing a woolen coat or a very thick jacket, I think it might be very difficult to put it on. Um, so also just bear in mind that I'm really petite as well. So I think your body frame also will uh, determine whether or not you can put the same Louise or the Andrew bag um, on your shoulder. Number five, in terms of weight, and just comparing all these four tote bags in the petite model, the same Louise is definitely the lightest at 250 grams. This Artois is at 460 grams because of the zipper and the reinforced sides. Um, the Anjo at 500 grams because of the leather lining. And the Isabel is at 450 grams because of the added middle compartment. So I guess the Artois is pretty comparable to all the other totes except for the St. Louis. That being said, I think that regardless, they are still really light for what they are, especially compared to like full leather bags. So I'm really excited to use this um, as my next travel bag. Just on this note, I wanted to mention that this Goyadin material is not leather. Instead, it is this refined, uh, tightly woven fabric that resembles leather, but is actually composed of vegetable fibers, um, of hemp, linen, and cotton. Um, this makes it water resistant and you just need to wipe the exterior with wet wipes and the interior with baby wipes. It is quite similar uh, and shares the same properties as the PVC coated material that Louis Vuitton uses. Number six, the Artois is not reversible and neither is the Isabelle. However, the same Louise reverses out into this same cotton linen mix you see here whereas the Anjo reverses out into a plain colour of the bag, but in leather. The reversibility feature of the Goyard tote bags didn't play any part in my decision-making process because I really love the Goyard print and I probably wouldn't reverse the bag anyway. 
This Artois bag in the Petite model is only slightly smaller overall as compared to the St. Louis in the Petite model. About 3 to 4 centimeters difference overall in, for the length and the height. The Isabel only comes in one size and is exactly the same size as the St. Louis in the Petite model. The Anjo in the Petite model has the same length as the St. Louis in the Petite model, but the Anjo is taller as it takes a little bit more of a bucket shape. For me, the key was finding a lightweight bag that could fit all my travel necessities in a secure fashion. So if you have different requirements, know that there are larger and different sizes available. There is also the Anjo in the mini size, which is super cute too. So all that to say, I think that even though Goya has created these tote bags that seem similar to each other, I think they were created for different purposes. The St. Louis is the quintessential everyday bag, the Artois is the travel bag, the Anjo the versatile bag, and the Isabel is the work bag. And now, let's do an experiment to see what fits in this bag. And before I do that, I want to put in this organizer that I bought to protect the bag from scuffings and from stains because the inner lining, as I mentioned to you, is this linen cotton mix. Okay, I finally managed to wrestle the bag organizer into this bag. Um, so now let's see what fits. Okay, first and foremost, most importantly, your passport for travel. I've inserted it in one of the pockets of my bag organizer because the bag organizer is quite big and it actually covers the entire floating pocket. All right, and then the next, my wallet, also in one of the bag organizer's pockets. And thirdly, importantly, my 13-inch laptop. It's very important that my tote carries, uh, is able to carry this laptop because um, you know, when you go through security, sometimes they will ask you to take your um, laptop out for uh, scanning separately. So when I went to the store, I actually asked the sales associate if this fits a 13 inch comfortably. And she says, yes. So let's try it out. All right, let's go. Oh, it does fit. So I have to pull this strap part up. All right, so we see. Okay, let's see what else I can put in. Probably my phone. Here, phone. And probably a cardigan. Because you get cold. And maybe a water bottle. So I'll put a water bottle in. So, as you can see, or maybe not, you can probably fit in another like this much, this much, yeah, in the back. So maybe some toiletries, you can probably try and fit it in here. Let's see. Yeah, it's um gonna be quite heavy. So I would say probably not put too much in there, especially if you have your laptop in like me. Overall, I'm pretty stoked to have gotten my hands on this Atua bag since I've been eyeing this Atua bag in this size and this colour for a while now. It was also the last piece in store when I visited and I hear that a lot of the popular tote bags regularly sell out. I think that this Goyard pattern is beautiful and the bag is light, flexible and functional so I'm very excited to use it for my travels soon. I hope you enjoyed my video and found it useful. Give me a thumbs up if you did and do leave me with your comments below on what you think about this Artois bag and the other Goyard bags.